previously on Phillips Fan Band. Uh oh. We are going back. Uh oh. To the Trader Joe's. Oh. That kicked us out. Oh. Guys. <laughs> All right. So we've decided that we're gonna have Elijah vlog because maybe they'll be less likely to tell a kid to stop recording himself. So. I love both of those. Mostly the orange chicken. Ooh. Oh, Everlyn likes that. Then we also got the organic white corn Martina chips. I love this. Hey, you guys, what is up? Welcome to another Cook With Me. I'm excited, you guys. This is a crock pot recipe. I am a huge fan of crock pot recipes because I feel like you can just throw it all in, let it cook all day, make your house smell delicious, and then you eat. It's like the easiest thing ever. So, this is the season I feel like where I do most of my crock pot recipes just because it's like cold outside. You could just throw stuff in, there's a lot of soups and different things. But today, we are making cheesy tortellini in the crock pot. So these are all the ingredients that you are gonna need. I will put the recipe down in the description below for those of you who want it. Um, the only extra cooking that you're doing on this is browning the meat. So we're gonna do that right now. You're gonna need a pound of ground beef. You're gonna need some cheese tortellini. You're gonna need some oregano leaves, basil leaves, minced garlic. I do it the lazy way. Then you're gonna need an onion some Rotel, salt, pepper, crushed tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, and some olive oil, so. Nice, now is that bag, you think that bag right there is gonna feed our whole family? This bag? Yes. Considering everything else, yes, because it's not just this. We'll see, we'll okay. see. I haven't made this yet, you guys, so I'm not sure. But the thing about tortellini, at least this one that I make, it expands, so they get big, like, they get big. So they're not like this small. You guys will see, like they fluff out. And I'm sure you've made tortellini before, but they should feed our family of seven. All right, step number one. Step number one, we're cutting up the onion, you guys, because we got to add this into the meat when we start cooking the meat. So there are a few steps you have to do before you can just throw it in the crock pot, but they're super easy, so. Do you, do you normally peel the onion first, or it doesn't matter? Well, I cut it, and then, I'll, it's, and then I peel it, so. I just cut the ends off. Comment down below if you guys actually cry or get say, tears when you cut an onion. I totally do. I don't. And I know there's tricks out there to not cry. And also comment down below and let us know if you use an onion for health reasons. Like, do you put it in your room? In your the room? mom, tell them what your mom does. I don't know exactly what, but she'll like put it in the, I don't know if it's in the room or in the fridge when she's sick. Like it'll, I don't know. She I don't know some, you guys. Yeah, we gotta ask her. Cause she does something with onion. It's actually. like an old wives tale or something. You guys yeah. like, comment down below. I know one of you viewers or a few probably of you multiple. viewers probably know. Yeah. What you do with an onion for medical reasons by just like leaving it in a room. Besides it's stinking it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's already stinking up in oh, here. Oh yeah, so. I actually kind of like it though. You like the smell of onions? Kinda, I like yeah, the smell not... of like cooked onions. Yeah, because it, it, that's why that's why I like it because I know when I smell that, I know something Food's good. Coming. Something good is <laughs> being like, cooked up. And he's like, oh, onions, there's food. <laughs> yeah, like something good. Anything that adds onion for flavor usually is good. I agree, because I don't know. Growing up, I did not like onions though, like at all. I feel like most kids don't like onions. But when you cook with onions, I feel like it gives it flavor. You can't really taste like the onion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sauteed onions, good. Hey, I'm not crying yet. See? But look, I love this, you guys. My Pampered Chef Chopper. This actually helps so much, like, just with the process. Like, you just stick it under. You guys have seen me do this before. Pops it all up, like, so easy. And you get out some aggression. Yeah. When you like, Danny, 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 get out of here. Boom, see, oh. look at this, but look. It's all totally minced up. I seriously love this tool, love it. You should've just got the garlic like that. Yeah, but you know what the thing with garlic, you know why I do it the lazy way in the can or in the jar? I don't like my hands to smell like garlic. Oh, uh, okay. So I just do it that way because I'm like, ugh, I don't want to like touch it, mess with it, cut it all up, I don't know. Who's got time for that? Oh, I'm starting to cry. Uh. Oh 
And why does onion make your eyes water? I'm curious. We don't know. We should look that up because Danny's like, onions never make me cry. I'm like, because you never cut onions. <laughs> I've eaten one. Have you guys seen that challenge? Oh, Bra that's Brayden true. and I did a challenge where we ate a whole onion. I might even just do half an onion. Oh no, here we go. Should I do more? She starts varying the recipe. I know, I always do, but I feel like that's a lot of onion for okay, a pound. Okay, go for know. it. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do it, we'll do it. We'll stick to the recipe. Closing my eyes. I'm so emotional. Uh oh, <laughs> cravings, emotional. Oh my gosh, of all sorts of mess. All right, so we're over here. We're gonna put this meat in the skillet. But first, we've got some olive oil. So it said to add a little olive oil, which I never do when I cook meat, but we'll do it this time because the recipe says. So we got a little olive oil. We're gonna add the ground beef. Nice. One pound. And we're using the 90-10. 90-10, it's just better. I know you're gonna get comments on your earrings. Oh yeah, where did I get these? Down East. Oh, okay. Down East, I love Down East, you guys. It's like my favorite store. Okay, adding the meat, baby. So here we go, putting this in. Shake it off, shake it off. And then to this, we are gonna add the onion. That is a lot of onion. I told you, and that I didn't even cut up the whole onion. So wow. you guys, just base it off how you like it, really, because. Oh, it might give it some real, a real good, um, some real good flavor. Yeah. So we're gonna add the garlic also to this. Oh, what? So that's probably good. How? What do you mean? That's probably good. That's probably good. There's no measurement? You just do however much you want. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you will attach the recipe? I will attach the recipe um, with all the correct measurements and stuff. You guys can stick to it. You can, I don't know. I kind of tend to do like recipes like based on how we like things, which I think most people do. So I don't want to do too much garlic. Danny kind of has a reaction if he gets too much garlicky stuff in him. And it's basically, I throw up. <laughs> yeah, he does. And we have found that Cheesecake Factory actually is a very garlicky yeah. place. Like for a while I couldn't eat there. Yeah, he would like get so like sick yeah. every single time. I was like, why am I getting sick? And then I'm like, wait, every time, every time. it's che after we go to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. So I actually changed what I ordered at Cheesecake Factory. Yep. We got the meat masher out here. Just gonna heat this all through, brown up this meat. It's already smelling delicious. Okay, you guys, we got this all browned and it is smelling so delicious in here. It's crazy, like all of that onion literally like disappeared. <laughs> Just like soaked right in there. It's wow. gonna be so flavorful. So honestly, my favorite part about like these crock pot recipes is, is like when the kids get home and they're like, what are you making? It, it smells, smells so good. good. It's so funny. So, all right, we're gonna put all this into the crock pot. Now we are gonna add the rest of the ingredients except for the tortellini and the cheese. The tortellini actually goes in like 15 to 30 minutes before it's all finished. Oh. So you can do this on high heat, four to six hours, or you can do on low, the eight to 10 hours. It just depends on how much time you have. I have, we'll eat in about six hours. So I'll put the crock pot on for six hours, let it go, and then 30 minutes before that's done, I'll throw in the tortellini. We'll show you guys all what it looks like, but right now we're gonna add in. So you're gonna go high heat. Yeah, high heat. Yeah, but otherwise we'll be eating at like seven and I would prefer like six, so. Look at that. There's that, so then we've got a big old can of crushed tomatoes that we're gonna throw in there. Boom, here we go. There's crushed tomatoes and then we have some diced tomatoes and green chilies, AKA Rotel. Rotel. So we're gonna throw that in there. See, this is what I'm saying that I love about crock pot recipes. It's literally just throw everything in. Every once in a while, you gotta brown some meat, you gotta do a little bit of work, but for the most part, it's just setting it up and letting it cook. All right, there we go. The Rotel is in. Now we're gonna add the oregano, the oregano leaves. This is just like one big recipe of flavor. Yeah, this is actually, I bet this is gonna be so good. And yeah. then with the tortellini pasta. So what I usually do with the tortellini is my Alfredo sauce. That's usually what we use the tortellini for. So, but oh, I saw this recipe, good. like my friend had posted it and I'm like, 
we have tortellini. I totally want to try that out. So we're trying it out, you guys. So we're going to just... That take, smells good. What is that? This is the oregano leaves. Wow. So it calls for half a teaspoon, but I'm just going to sprinkle it in. It's, Measure with your heart, right? Smells like I'm in Italy. You are. All right, so now the basil leaves are going in. Half a teaspoon. Total eyeball. Total eyeball. So there's that, and then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna eyeball that as well, because you guys know that's what I do. Boom. And remember, the recipe will be in the description. Yes, we will have that all down below, so you guys can follow that. But stick around so you guys can see what this looks like when it's all done. So now I'm gonna just stir this all up real quick. Wooden chocla here. We're gonna stir it all up and just get that all nice and delicious. Oh wow, gosh. that's probably so flavorful. Keep in mind, it's still it had the onion in the meat, the garlic in the meat. The garlic. Wow. So this will just sit in the crock pot and kind of just like mix all of those flavors together, cook them together all day. I'm wondering if you could even do like a spaghetti with it too. Oh, Like yeah. have that as like a meat sauce. I know, should I taste it? It's cold. Oh no, it's not cold. No, but this would be a good spaghetti sauce. See? This Bam. would be a good spaghetti sauce. That's yummy. So there you go, there's this. Like I said, it will cook in here all day, which will be nice because like all the flavors will cook together. They're gonna be so delicious. And then last 30 minutes, we'll add the tortellini. So we'll check back with you guys in about- Six hours. Six hours for us, about one second for you. Okay, so it has been about six hours, a little bit less, and I've gotta put this tortellini in, you guys. It smells amazing in here. So look at this, this is what we got. Oh. And so what I'm gonna do is add in the tortellini slowly just to see honestly that smells next, so good next time i make this i'm gonna double the recipe because i know that our family's gonna go through this which is fine Braden's at work tonight so he'll um usually get something for himself there so here we go i'm gonna pour this in and just kind of see where we're Ooh. at as far as and I'm not eating double servings anymore because I'm trying to cut back a little bit. Danny's getting ready for some family pictures. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to lose weight in two days. Yeah. But he's like, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so no, but I honestly want to get get healthier, everybody. So I know. We're trying, you guys. We really are. And it's a process, just like everything. It's it's a process. So You've actually been doing really good, babe. Oh yeah, for a day or two. Yeah, that's good though. It's a it's it's a start. So we're gonna cook this in. You know what I'm gonna do? I might add in a little broth or ch or um, beef stock. Really? Yeah. Does it call for it? No, it wow. doesn't. But I feel like it needs to be a little more saucy, a little more saucy. So, all right, Danny's over there biting his lip like, I'm not sure about this. So just make a note that this is not in the recipe. This is not in the recipe. This is Tina, Tina's design. Um, I just want it to be a little more saucy and I feel like the pasta will cook better with it having a little bit more liquid. Not, we're not going crazy or anything. So Danny's like, really? Or uh, uh, Danny's not sure about it. <laughs> so he'll be okay though, you guys, I promise. Look at that though, that looks good. So this, the tortellini, will cook in here for another 30 minutes. So we'll wait for that to cook up, and boom, it'll be ready. Nice. So I'm gonna probably serve this with a side of Trader Joe's corn. And we're gonna get each of the kids taste testing it, you guys. Yeah, so you guys will get to see how they like it, you'll get to see how we like it, I don't know. Yes. We've never had it, so we'll see. So come have dinner with us. Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, check this out. Oh, oh my mama, are you kidding me? And it smells amazing, you guys. It smells like lasagna almost. This looks good, I hope it is. We're gonna dish this up. And I'm glad I added a little liquid to it because it's even still a little bit, I don't know. You can make it, I could make it soupier, but. Then looks we're gonna good, just add good. some mozzarella cheese on top. Boom, shakalaka, boom. Ooh and we're gonna give it a whirl. Try her out. Tina's gonna be leaving while we're gonna be eating, so. Yeah, I gotta go pick up Braden from work, so here we go. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. That's bomb. Really, it's yeah, good? I like it a lot, actually. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice, so we're gonna go ahead and bowl up these kids, sit them down at the table, and we'll let you guys know what they think as well.
Okay, so Danny just put some Parmesan cheese on that bad boy. So here he goes, gonna try it out. Hot. It is hot. Wow, that's really good. That's tasty. That's good, right? Wow. Flavorful, like full of flavor. Yeah, I like it. I, I like it less soupy. That's just you do? That's yeah. Soupy. You could go either way. It's, yeah, I'm not I like, like it like this too. I give it with tacos and stuff. I like it a little more dry. Yeah. So that's just me, but yeah. this is really good. Yum, you guys. It's mm. a hit. We'll see how the kids like it. Boom, so Ethan, how do you feel about it? Hungry. Have you tried it yet? Nope. Go ahead and try it. So good. So good. What about you, Emzy? I haven't tried it, but it feels like it's hot, but I'll still try it. Yeah, it's not spicy, yeah. it's just a little hot. So, I'll get this one. Oh, hot. It is hot? We could put some Parmesan cheese you already did on there? You well, guys? Not too good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So tasty. Yeah. I was telling mom, Ethan, that she could probably use that meat sauce with like spaghetti. Oh, and that yeah. would be really good. That'd be perfect. Here we go, Elijah. What's up, dude? Dad. You gonna eat? Nice. Put the Parmesan cheese on. Okay. Phone off the table. Nice try, boy. Can't see this. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm ready. Mm. That's good. Cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Elijah's one of our pickiest eaters. I could, I could have seconds with this. Yeah? I have eights. Oh, you can have eights? So what do you think, Ash? Oh, I like it. Yeah? So good. All right, so it looks like it was a hit. It was a hit, you guys, which this is the second new recipe that I've made this week that has been a hit. So we're getting some new staples in the house, you guys, and I love it. So we'll do a cook with me on the other thing that I made too, eventually. And it's another crock pot meal, which is- That chicken spaghetti. Chicken spaghetti, it was so good. So, and I did add some of my own ingredients to that as well. Nice. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know down below if you try this recipe or what you would add to this recipe. Let us know, we're always open to new ideas. Or what you would have with it. Or what you would have with it. We have some corn. Everyone wants me to cut up some watermelon for us. So we're gonna do that. And that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. Go follow us on all the social medias. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, don't forget. Choose your day!